Hi, I'm Lincoln Rose, Senior Vice President of the State School Teachers Union of Western Australia. Congratulations on being elected as a delegate to State Council. We hope you enjoy this short presentation that will assist you to contribute to the decision making process of the union. The SSTUWA was founded in 1898 with just 50 members and currently has approximately 15,000 members making it one of the largest public sector unions and one of the oldest white collar unions in Western Australia. Since its inception, the SSTUWA has played a leadership role in unionism and in education in this state. The SSTUWA is only as strong as its members. Through the collective strength and wisdom of members, we can be powerful and influential in the community. Through our democratic processes at branch, district council, executive and state council, we can ensure that our decision making and actions are inclusive, representative and powerful. Hello, I'm Samantha Schofield, your Vice President. State Council is a supreme decision-making body of the SSTUWA and has the authority to make decisions on policy and direct the union's business. State Council consists of the President, Senior Vice President, Vice President, Executive Members, General Secretary and delegates elected from each district. The State Council sits twice a year, usually in June and November, at the union's offices. These events normally take place on a Saturday and a Sunday. As a State Council delegate, you are elected to represent your district and the interests of members in that district. You are able to present and vote on motions and recommendations. All members are required to abide by the SSTUWA's Code of Ethics. So what's on the agenda? Each branch is able to send in motions to State Council or Executive. Any branch motions need to be received prior to the agenda for State Council being printed. Dates can be found in the Western Teacher and online. Delegates will receive their agendas no less than three weeks prior to State Council. This allows delegates to raise any issues or concerns at their branches so that they are able to be informed and can debate any motions or reports that are of concern. On the day of State Council, you are seated with delegates in your district. The day usually begins with a welcome to country followed by the President's address and any guest speakers. The senior officers sit at the front of the room and chair the meeting. Reports on issues and campaigns are prepared by the senior officers, SSTUWA industrial staff and relevant committees. Attached to these reports are recommendations which are debated on the day. During the Council, delegates may wish to make amendments or create new motions. These need to be written up on the forms provided to you on your tables and moved and seconded. Make sure you reference the item on the agenda which your motion relates to. You will need to be prepared to speak to that motion and present your arguments. These are then voted on by delegates at State Council. Those in favour, against, declare that carried. At any stage throughout the day, procedural motions can be made to move a particular report or item. If the procedure report is passed, then the council moves directly to that item. Motions that you put up on the State Council floor on the day should aim to reflect your branch's decisions. You are representing your branch and district on such matters. Casting your vote correctly is important. Each delegate to State Council is required to sign in at the beginning of each session to receive your voting card. Make sure you write your name on this card and keep it with you during the session, as you must use the correct voting card to vote on each motion and recommendation. In the instance where the vote is too close to call or a count is called, you will be required to use the tabs on your voting card to indicate your vote without your name on the tab and hand it in to be counted. Actions at State Council help guide the way the SSTUWA represents its members and promotes public education. We thank you for your contribution, your support to your colleagues and to the future of a strong public education. There is no union without you.